being conscious of what the process entails. You see, when I said that everything, <laughs> everything in the end is vibration, resonance, and frequency. What we have inherited about the dying and the death process is a cultural thing. And in some cultures, it's really, like in the Greek culture, is much, much stronger than it is in North America. When they grieve, they really grieve, okay? So each culture is different, deals differently with it. But the, the end is, remind yourself, we are just walking meat sacks. And we come here for a short time to have 3D experiences, and we chose to be here. We weren't forced to come here. We chose to be here to have all of these experiences, good and bad, because the soul learns from these experiences and can raise itself to a higher vibration because our ultimate journey is to go back to the Creator from whence we came. And that's a long, that will take a long, long process and a long time, but that's okay. There is no time and there is all time. Learn what you can. And some people can learn more in this one lifetime than others can. Some learn very little in this one lifetime. So it's okay. They just repeat it over and over. They'll reincarnate and, and come back and learn because it all has to be learned by us, the good and the bad. There's no shortcuts. So when you understand that death is as important as birth, why are we so happy at birth and why are we so, uh, so sad at death? We should celebrate death. But why do we go through that? Well, it's because we have this emotional connection of grief and loss that we give it so much power. When we look at it and said, oh, thank God, Uncle George no longer has to suffer. He's gone to a place where he's happy, where he's at the height of his youth, in his 20s or 30s, in the height of his energy. He's in a good place. And he doesn't have to worry about the suffering and the pains and, and what we in 3D here have to go through. When you know and understand and believe that, in your heart, the grieving factor is minimized. Okay? When we grieve someone and we shed tears and that, that, that's a perfectly human emotional thing. There's nothing wrong with that. But remind yourself and send loving thoughts to the person who has departed. He's in a much, much better place, wherever that is. And we don't have to feel sorry for him. We feel sorry for ourselves. That's what's happening. Yeah, it's okay. Birth and death are part of the natural process. And why should we be so supportive of the one and so take away from the other, you know, go in the opposite direction? They're both part of the human experience. Celebrate them. <laughs>